Hello, Mioni here, and welcome back to another store update for Final Fantasy XIV, looking at the new additions to the game. As of the 18th of October 2024, when All Saints Wake 2024 kicks off in the game for the new event. If you want previous year's items, you can totally go to the cash shop today and get them. You will see here that you can get the All Saints Charm, which is the Magic Wand emote for two US dollars, as well as the Wall Mounted Vampire Bats, which is also from last year's event for five. US dollars in uh, other currencies in the United Kingdom that will cost you three pounds for the wall mounted bats and the emote is one pound 20 and in euros we're looking obviously at four euros 35 for the bats and 174 for the emote in addition to that there's also a new poster set this is the Shadowbringers poster set coming with five posters for your in-game walls, be that your, uh, you know, apartments or your small houses or your free company, you get five posters for 10 euros 88 in US dollars. That's 12 US dollars 50 cents, which is a little bit pricey. And obviously in my currency, that will work out as nine pounds 25. Again, a little bit pricey for five posters. I think they're hoping that a lot of people will purchase this based on the interest of uh, Futures Rewritten the new ultimate coming out featuring Reen and Gaia and obviously who wouldn't want Reen and Gaia on their wall at this point we've also got the near crossover poster which is absolutely awesome uh, they look pretty good in the game as well so that would be my probable pick from this even though it's slightly pricey additionally we've also got the adventurer's supply kit so this is Square Enix's attempt to encourage new players to help themselves out and have uh, a fresh start on all the characters that they create so for veteran and new alike this will cost you five pounds 99 in the united kingdom in dollars that works out at 10 us dollars minus one cent and in europe that is six euros 99 in this collection yen you get the menthina's earring which is the main thing that i guess most of the value comes from you can also get this obviously from your collector's editions of various expansions of different earrings this one is is the 30% increase when level 80 and below for level one and above warriors of light disciple of war or magic obviously comes with some stats and helps you basically not have to swap that slot out until you're level 80 uh, it's pretty good honestly um not seeing this being sold separately before probably was a mistake uh it's a good idea it's not the most expensive way of getting access to this earring, and it is account-wide, of course, all of these items are. In addition, you also get an extra Fantasia. Uh, recently, with the updates to the graphics engine, they made it so there's a quest in Uldar where everybody gets a new Fantasia for free anyway, so this would not really be that necessary unless you want another Fantasia for free on every single character you ever create. We also have 99 Aetherite tickets, which allow you to teleport around the world to any Aetherite location that you have previously discovered for free so we've got 99 of those of course those are easily obtainable in the game from your grand company ventures things like that and we've also got an emote in proper price four which is the cheer on bright emote which is the yellowy white uh, cheer on emote with the glow sticks which i'm not sure how that helps new players but it's a cool emote i guess to have as well as the red moon parasol something that's also obtainable in the game in terms of value then you're definitely looking at the etherite tickets and the memphina's earring the memphina's earring being the main reason for this to exist it's an interesting idea. I'm not sure if they're going to do different supply kits. This is definitely something they've never done before. Um, but again, this is all mostly cosmetic stuff, in, apart from an inclusion of a new way of getting the EXP earring outside of the collector's editions. So I'll let you be the judge of that. Additionally to all of these new items that you can see on this list, there is also a new sale taking place. These are all on the previous year's uh, all Saints Wake items for various different years. So we've got everything from glamour outfits like the Wake Do Doctor's attire to emotes to glamour. Uh, we've got housing items, minions, wall decoration items. We've got barding. You name it, we've got a bunch of Halloween themed items. So if you wanted to pick any of these up, they've all been slashed in price significantly. Uh, I'm not sure if that pun is going to be allowed or not. But there are some good picks from this. Um, obviously, the prices, as you can see, they're not terrible. They could be reduced in some cases more than others. 
but um, definitely worth a look if you have yet to pick up any or you want to get some of the customization of your character for cheaps but that's pretty much the store update um let me know what you think about this new adventurous supply kit would you like to see square enix add other supply kits to the cash shop with other items as a bundle uh let me know i'm curious i'm not sure i like this idea <laughs> i'm really not sure I, I where i sit with this but i don't feel like the value is there necessarily but you might disagree anyway much love enjoy the rest of your day enjoy your weekend more videos on the way and i'll see you all next time Bye bye